Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carla and I make videos about showing up for yourself and my life after losing over 180 pounds. I share content that relates to personal development, self-care, weight loss and maintenance, mental health, which is most important, and also fashion and beauty, which I think is also really important. In today's video, I am going to be talking to you about intermittent fasting. This is part of my series on how I lost over 180 pounds um, over a 14 month period. And then I had a little baby and then I lost 40 pounds after that. So the, the methodologies that I used in order to lose weight are the same um, pre and post having a tiny human. Today's video, as I said, is all about intermittent fasting. And intermittent fasting for me is probably one of the supporting actors of my weight loss. So think Dame Judi Dench when she was in Shakespeare in Love for a few minutes, you know, and she won an Oscar for it. She had a supporting role, but it was obviously very important and award worthy. And that is what intermittent fasting is for me. I'll leave a playlist up here if you guys wanna check out the other ways in which I lost weight. So the main one is constant, consistent calorie deficit, which I actually have to make a video on. I haven't done that one yet. Um, then we have Body Slims, which is the program that I chose that my roadmap to wealth, uh, to wealth if only, uh, my roadmap to health and um, therapy, which is, I think the biggest supporting and uh, the biggest actor and role in in my successful weight loss and then we have your supporting actors so the the people the the actions that came in and were like you know I'm gonna help I'm gonna help make this easier and intermittent fasting is one of those things now before we get into this video I want to say that I am not a healthcare professional I am not a trained doctor nor a allied healthcare professional in any way shape or form this is what I did I am not suggesting for a second that this is something that you have to do. Also, if you are a body slimmer, I am a brand ambassador for body slims and I'm not paid for any mention of them in this uh, video. However, body slims are not telling you that you have to intermittent fast. Again, this is what I did. So let's jump in. What I'm gonna start talking about, oh, first of all, let's give a little definition of intermittent fasting. What is, what is intermittent fasting? So intermittent fasting is a, it's a name given to various cycles of time in which you consume food versus you don't consume food, fasting. Intermittent meaning that it is not, it is occasional. Sorry, I need to turn off my phone because my, it's the first day of body slims and my phone is going crazy, crazy. Anyway, um, so there are periods of time in which you eat and there are periods of time in which you don't eat and those will be the fasting periods <clears throat> and what i thought i would do is chat to you about first of all the kind of three main um famous intermittent fa um, fasting kind of cycles uh, or well-known different versions and then i'll chat to you about my experience with intermittent fasting and maybe a couple of tips as well if you guys wanted to give it a go and why I intermittent fast. So let's get into the categories of intermittent fasting, the most well known. So the first one is within one day where you will do intermittent fasting within a specific day. And that is the most well known version of that is the 16 8. And that means there is 16 hours fasting and an eight hour eating window. I want to point something out here that is very important and very crucial to all types of fasting. First of all, it's not for everybody and all that kind of malarkey, not a professional, please consult your GP, please consult your allied healthcare professional. However, when I say that there is an eating window, I do not mean that that means that you eat for the entire time that that window is open. Let's just get that straight. <laughs> so we just wanna put that in there right now at the start. So 16-8 is the, the intermittent fasting schedule that I chose to do, and that is where you eat within an eight hour period. So I break my fast at 12 p.m. and I don't consume food after 8 p.m. And then I have a 16 window, a 16 hour window till the next day when I will break my fast again at, at 12 p.m. That's the most kind of well-known intermittent fasting schedule when it's 
in one specific day. You can also do 12-12, whereas 12 hour fasting, 12 hour eating window. Some people have, you know, I think there's 18-6 is another really popular one. So uh, you might break your fast at 12 and then stop eating at 6 p.m. So that one, it's finding one that works for you. The next uh, one is the 5-2. And the 5-2 is where you would um, eat a certain amount of calories uh, with on a f like five days and then on two days you would eat a lot less sometimes to the point where you would eat nearly nothing um you know I think it's like 800 calories or something like that is like what some people do for the five two I personally have never done it there is a whole book on five two um and I know that I do 5-2 in maintenance, but it's not this 5-2. So just to kind of, I know that a couple of people have been confused about that in the past. So this is like when I do 5-2 in maintenance, I'll leave a video up here on my maintenance plan and what I do. Um, but that's 5-2 is so you're like basically not, you're nearly not eating for two days of the week. Um, then there is, the next category is OMAD or one meal a day. And that is a type of intermittent fasting where people only consume their entire daily calories within one sitting and one meal uh, and then they don't eat for the rest of the day that would be say you might your calorie allowance for the your day is 2000 calories and you will sit down nearly 2000 calories at 12 o'clock and then you won't eat again for the rest of the day i know a couple of people who have done that and then the final one is where you will do uh, the final kind of main one is where you will do like a, a day a month or something like that where you just don't eat, you completely fast for the full day. Now, I know for some people that this might seem very extreme, um, but there are many, many health benefits to it and some psychological benefits to it. Um, and I'm not gonna get into those because as I said, I'm not a professional. However, there are also some drawbacks to this, especially for anybody who has had a binge eating food addiction type uh, behaviors that it can result in uh, binging. So just want to put that out there. Of course, any kind of restriction can do so. But now what I thought I'd do is have a little chat to you about my experience with intermittent fasting and why I intermittent fast. So I began intermittent fasting with my partner Vincent many 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 years ago and um, we started doing it I think I want to hazard a guess very early in our relationship so I would say probably within the last like eight years ago seven years ago something like that and we would go in periods of doing it and not doing it and doing it and not doing it so I have always gone by the 16-8 uh, methodology of intermittent fasting that has been my schedule that I have chosen and that means for me that I will eat, uh, begin eating at 12 and finish eating at 8 p.m. And I won't eat in between. Now, I did it pre my big weight loss journey. So my big weight loss journey started in January 2020. And I did my pre, I, I did a pre that, but then I was really kind of like strict on it from January. Um, I would, as I said, I went in periods of on and off and not doing it. But from January 2020 um, until I was six weeks pregnant, I intermittent fasted and then that was just not happening anymore. My God, did I need food first thing in the morning. Otherwise, I would have passed out when I was pregnant. Um, so I did that and then I started again. Then on my postpartum journey, I started intermittent fasting again. And once I was healed um, from my C-section. So for me, intermittent fasting has been a huge part of my life, or IF has been a huge part of my life over the last number of years, specifically during my weight loss journey. Now, I want to specify something very clear here. I did not do intermittent fasting to lose weight. I want to make that really, really, really clear. I did not practice intermittent fasting in order to help me lose weight. Now, I know that that might seem a little bit odd to some people, but the reason that I chose to do intermittent fasting is because I have a history, a lifelong history of food addiction and binge eating disorder and uh, bulimia. And with that comes issues around trusting my body and trusting my natural cues about food, my hunger, 
when I'm hungry and when I'm full. As somebody who spent so many years escaping the negative trauma and the um, inner critic that was going on inside me with food, I never allowed myself to get hungry, ever. I was never truly hungry. I was emotionally hungry, but I was never truly hungry. I never allowed myself to get hungry. To allow myself to be hungry was the scariest thing that I could ever do to myself. That to me, the thought of being hungry, like physically hungry, just sent me into an absolute spiral of decline and I would become extremely anxious and I would stress and become, and sometimes uh, incur panic attacks. It is something that I never allowed myself to do. And I knew that hunger was something that I was going to have to get used to in order to lose weight. Now, I know that's gonna trigger some people, but hunger in terms of I need to know when I'm actually hungry, when my body is physically hungry and needs nutrients versus when my brain is telling me I need to comfort myself through food. And that is why I chose intermittent fasting because it allowed me to understand for the first time in my life when I was truly hungry. Pre my weight loss journey, I did intermittent fasting and allowed me to kind of get used to the idea of being hungry and kind of worked on it. So it was something I was doing, but I would then eat so much in those, uh, in my window of eating that I was under, like it was almost like I, at 12 o'clock I would just eat, you know, at 12 o'clock I would almost do like my full calorie allowance for the day, then I would continue eating till eight o'clock. So I was basically, I wasn't binging, but I was consistently eating. Whereas intermittent fasting now for me has allowed me to understand when I am truly hungry. When am I truly hungry? Which is something I genuinely never knew before. I never understood my satiety level. So your satiety is your, when you're satisfied, so when you're satiated with food. So when you are hungry or when you are uh, full, I never really understood those because even when I was full, I would keep eating. I employed intermittent fasting as a methodology to learn about my body, to learn about the cues that I had destroyed through food addiction and through binge eating disorder and bulimia, to get to understand and to learn to trust my body and trust that it was going to tell me when I needed to supply it with nutrients and energy in order to function. Because previously, I never trusted my body because my brain was interfering constantly and telling me that I needed food when actually I did not need food. So that's what intermittent fasting did for me. It really taught me about myself and about my body and to trust my body and my connection with my body. And I still practice intermittent fasting today. And the reason I do is I also find it easier within a calorie deficit uh, to have only two meals as opposed to three meals to spread my calorie deficit out. It did help with that. Um, but the main reason that I did it for was in order to learn about myself, to learn about my body and to be okay to be hungry. Now, I'm not advocating that you have to starve yourself to lose weight. It's about learning that what is going on in your body and that hunger is just a sign that you need to eat food. It doesn't mean that you're dying. It doesn't mean that, you know, like obviously if you're like, you know, in a starvation land, then yes, that's different. But it doesn't mean, it's not the end of the world. Whereas for me previously, being hungry was the end of the world. And I mean, now I don't think I ever even experienced true hunger before. Now I know when I'm hungry. Right now I'm like, yeah, I could do with something, but you know, I'll be okay. So as part of intermittent fasting, there is a kind of rule of thumb um, that goes with it that you shouldn't consume over 50 calories within your fasting window. For me, during weight loss, that looked like two coffees with almond milk. Now, as I'm in maintenance, I'm not as strict. And to be honest with you, I was never really that strict about the end of the evening. That was never kind of my issue. Like I would typically have finished eating by 8 p.m. anyway. And if I really wanted something, if I was genuinely hungry, then I would eat something. Whereas if I was just like, oh, I'd like a bit of something, then I wouldn't. Because I'd be like, well, no, it's past my, my window. So I'm not going to be eating now. 
so that really helped but i would consume my coffee and uh, my two coffees in the morning during weight loss with my almond milk now i consume my coffee in my my fasting period with um uh, oat milk because it's higher in calories but i still have one or two in my fasting period to me that doesn't mean that i'm not intermittent fasting and i think that along with other things along kind of you know like when we start labeling things and if we don't do it perfectly then you know we feel like we're failing and um, it's like eating a plant-based or vegan diet you know like people think that if they can't do it a hundred percent then they can, there's no point in doing it whereas you have to make these things work for you so what i thought i'd do now is just give a couple of tips as well um for intermittent fasting if you want to try it the first one is it's really important to ensure that you're drinking enough water during your fasting period. Water is extremely vital for us and we have a tendency not to drink enough of it. You can use a calculator online to determine how much water you should be consuming, but I like to have at least 2.5 liters of water a day and I try to get at least one liter of that in my fasting window, always, so that I am nourishing myself with water um, and I do not get dehydrated. Did you know that if you already are thirsty that means you're dehydrated? There's a good tip and actually I find it a lot easier to drink water um, I find once I start drinking water I then crave it more and my body's like yeah you need that thing so it actually becomes easier to consume water all the time and um, so that's one thing is to make sure you're drinking enough water. The second is to don't be so worried about the rigidity of intermittent fasting make it work for you you know if you find that um 16 8 is not something that's suitable for you maybe a 12 12 um, schedule will be suitable for you don't be so worried about it you know if you consume your your coffee and you go over by two calories that doesn't mean you're not intermittent fasting and you're not going to get the health benefits of it don't worry, don't stress about it. If you're consuming like a mochaccino or, you know, frappe with cream and other stuff on it, then yeah, you're kind of ruining it. I would try it also and steer clear of sugar. So that's another tip that I would give for you is always try to break your fast uh, with things that are as close to the ground as possible. That means your body is kind of, your body is like this ripe, ready, vessel for nutrients uh, because it has not had any for 16 hours so the one of the best things to feed it is vegetables and fruit and you know lean protein and things like that so it can consume the really good minerals and nutrients from it straight away and that'd be the first thing that goes into it minus coffee obviously and uh, that might be the first thing that goes into it so that's something that i've always done and if you followed me for any period of time you will know that I eat nearly the same salad nearly every single day for the last two and a half years. Um, I sometimes will swap it out for a soup. If I'm out, then I might I'll probably have a Sprite salad if I'm out. Um, Sprite, sponsor me. But typically I will be eating um, a salad that I make at home. And my salad, I'll leave a picture here actually because I did one on a reel the other day basically my salad is one half of a cucumber one red pepper a load of cherry tomatoes cherry tomatoes are so good i love cherry tomatoes um basil uh sliced olives vegan feta some kind of uh, tofu i will either have the cauldron or the aldi pre-prep pre-prep tofu um and just like heat it up on the pan and shove it in the salad basil um granulated garlic salt and pepper dried mixed herbs and chili and that's it that's the whole thing in the salad and my god is it so delicious it's so delicious and it's so delicious and it teaches you because your body is going yes this is nutrients i am getting what i need from this whereas if i break my fast with um like a vegan chicken fillet roll which i do sometimes i that's and um, i'm allowed to and we're all allowed to uh, sometimes my body's like the fork is this like this is not you know this is not the greatest nutrients that you could have provided me right now i don't feel as energetic i don't feel as good but i find that intermittent fasting one of the benefits of it is that it's really given me a newfound appreciation for vegetables and really good quality foods because i can feel the nutrients I can feel how much better I feel 
when I eat them, especially when it's the first thing that I eat. You know, the very first thing that I eat is something that's really delicious and really packed with nutrients. My body's like, yes, thank you, lady. Thank you, finally, give me the food. So that's kind of another tip for me, from me. And the last tip, which I've kind of already like come across is you got to make this work for you. If you find that, you know, that's not something that you're capable of, you don't have to do intermittent fasting. I'm not suggesting that you have to. I know a lot of people who've had great success losing weight or in life who don't intermittent fast. It's just something that really, really worked for me. You have to make these things work for you. Don't be so worried about labels of, you know, 16, eight or, oh, I'm, you know, but today I really would like to eat a bit more or I would like to eat later. Go for it. You know, make it work for you. That is my biggest tip. So for example, when I went away, we had free breakfast included. So I would eat the breakfast at 10 as opposed to 12 because I'm not turning down a free meal because of this. You know, money is tight and we've got a, it's included in my hotel stay. I'm going to eat my, my meal at 10. There are some mornings where I am incredibly sleep deprived because I have a teething eight month old and I'm going, I need food. My body needs energy from something to get me through the day and I will have something then. I will have oatmeal, I will have something, I will have a breakfast. That's okay. Last Sunday, Vincent and I, we went for breakfast for brunch together at like half nine. That's okay. It's, it doesn't mean I don't intermittent fast. The majority of the time I stick to my 16, eight, but I have to make it work for me. I, I'm not so concerned about the label or what other people might think. The only thing I'm concerned about is how I feel and how it makes me feel and does it work for me? And if it does, then I'm gonna continue to do it. And honestly, that's a bit of advice that I do, I would say to anybody for anything ever is if you have to make it work for you, if it's not working for you, don't be worried about what other people will think. I think, I think that's it. I think that's everything I had planned to say to you guys. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me down a black heart in the um, in the comments down below. And if you have any questions, what I might do is I might do a little kind of series on questions that have been commonly asked during my weight loss journey um, videos that like in the comment section. I might do one video that answers all of those questions. I think that's probably the best thing to do because um, I've been getting quite a lot so if there's anything like uh, to do with the therapy video or body slims um, that you guys want answered or to do with intermittent fasting, please leave them in the comments down below. Leave me that heart emoji as well. I love when you guys do that. I love to see all the little hearts appear on my phone as like people start watching the videos. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I love you and leave you and I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you so much for sticking with me and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye guys.